We're in a town called Asli here in Morocco, and a person that lives in this neighborhood was willing to let us be in their home. And you see SubhanAllah all around me. This is what it looks like after they've cleaned it up a little bit. You can imagine what it would be like to live through this, to experience it, to be in a place where your mind is not just worried about yourself, but thinking about your family, your loved ones. Literally, the walls are falling down around you. People are in a place where everything is just chaos. And then the next day you have to get up to go through this, to not just find whatever of your belongings are still salvageable, clothes that you can wear, perhaps something that still functions. But for some people, the next day they're going through the rubble to see, maybe my loved one is still alive. Maybe I'd be able to find some part of their body that we could actually bury. There's actual people that went through this and they need us to be there for them. Somebody might ask, why would you go all the way to a place, leaving your own family, your children, your community? One, because I have the ability to. And two, it's something that Allah is going to ask me about, not just what I did, but I had the capacity to do and still chose not to do. You and I have been given so much. We don't want to be in a place where we have to live through something like this in order to really understand what it means to be a sister and brother of someone in a place like this. I wish I could have you seated here with me. But you can't imagine what it's like to just be in this place right now. So please do give what you can and give even more than you think you can. It's going to go a long way to help a lot of people. The people in this town of Asni, they said nobody is coming to check in on them. No one is counting how many of their loved ones, their community members have passed. No one is coming to see if they need food or water, anything whatsoever. But we're here. We know what it is that they're going through. And so we have to do our part. We have to remember who our teacher is, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and do what's right simply because it's the right thing to do. If you go to go a long way, inshallah ta'ala, and be a means of benefit for so many.